Somehow I woke up out in Beverly Fucked up, smelling like that bourbon And I had a I'm not sure Yeah, the girls seem polite in the club every night That's how it goes when you Hollywood person Wagwan people, Liam in here back again with another episode of the Malaga Save here on my channel. We are having an interesting season so far. We got a win very early on in the season, but now we have been without a win for the past, I think, six games. Do I think have three or four draws in that time, so it's not terrible. But going into episode five... We need to start kind of turning our form around a bit. We've got three games in this ep episode. Celta Vigo, Valencia and Athletic Bilbao. And then we will start doing things by month how we did uh, last... Well, not last season. Well, no, yeah, last season. Transfer offer coming in for Ishmael Casas from Stuttgart. We're going to decline it because... We're not quite interested in letting him go. I'm not 100% convinced by him, I've got to be honest. But I don't want to let him go, especially not for 2 million, because I know he's going to be worth a lot more than that. Something I did want to show you guys, I can't remember if I've shown you before, I probably have, but let's just do it so I've got peace of mind that I've actually shown you. We've put Alejandro Francis on to train as a CDM. I'd like to start getting him in and around the team. However, I would like to keep Azpila Quetta and Jerome Gwene playing together right now. Uh, Vincente Serrano is going out on loan for two years, so that would be good for him to get some game time in. Uh, Azpila Quetta is saying that he's ready to go back into the starting lineup, which he definitely will be. We don't care about that. However, we do have a press conference to do before this game, so let's get into that. Hi everyone, thanks for coming along. Uh, let's get the questions underway. It's been a tough start for you so far in La Liga. No wins in your last six. What What's going on around the club? What's the feeling like and how are you going to turn this form around? Yeah, well, like I said at the beginning of the season, we knew this was going to be a tough season. It was never going to be easy for us. Obviously, not picking up a win in our last six is less than ideal for our survival hopes but I still have 100% confidence that we will pick up wins we just are in a little bit of a slump right now but that can happen at any point throughout the season I think we will start to turn this around sooner rather than later personally but yeah like I said it was always gonna be a first tough first season in this league it's a very tough league a lot of very good teams but I think we're still in with a chance of surviving some people are suggesting that maybe Carlos Hernandez is no longer in your plans following him being dropped out of the team for Monzon. What would you say to that? There's still time, in my opinion, for Fernandez to find his way here. We have seen that. I've been using a different strike partnership recently with Danilo and Monzon just to try and freshen things up, take the pressure off of him a little bit. If somebody else can step up with a few goals here or there and just give him some time to settle into things, then... It will be better for everyone involved, really. So I still have faith in Carlos Fernandez 100% and he 100% is still in my plans. Malaga have one of the leakiest defences in the league so far this season. What would you say you're, you can do to stop that and do you have any plans in place? Conceding goals is always going to make a job harder, but we're starting to find a way, starting to get partnerships throughout the team. Back four, I think they've played fairly well, but there's a few mistakes in us here or there. Like I say, it was always going to be a tough season. We've just got to keep grinding and hoping that eventually everything comes together. You need a bit of luck in these situations to change your fortunes around, and that's what we're looking for right now. We're tactically in training. We're looking at different possibilities of playing players in different positions and different matchups, etc., we're going into a game against Celta Vigo. They're a very good team. It's going to be another tough game for us, but I have confidence that we will be able to find our footing in this league. Thanks, guys. That's going to be all the questions for now. So, yeah, like I said, we are going into Celta Vigo game now. I'm not going to change anything. I'm going to keep the team how it is for now. 
If we don't start to better our results soon, however, I will have to start looking into changing something. So if things don't change, I will be looking into the formation change. But let's see how this game <clears throat> goes against Celta Vigo. I think a big thing for me is not, as I was about to say, not stupidly giving away the ball, but I've immediately, in this game, stupidly given away the ball. And now, Celta Vigo are coming forward. Can someone explain to me there what Ruben Blanco has just done? So I've not called him out of goal. I've tried to get Jerome Onguene to recover. Ruben Blanco has come out to get the ball and... Yeah. Dove the wrong way. Yeah. Right. So we're already 1-0 down. It's going to be a long game for us, clearly. Gortler to cut back in. Oh, not far from Lucas Gortler, to be fair. Good run from Muchengama. I maybe should have played Mons on there. I was hoping Danilo was going to make that little diagonal run that we've seen him make before. But for some reason, in this game, he just doesn't do it. So we can't find him. We're just experimenting with formations, etc. a lot. Oh, Miranda. I thought Miranda was about to equalise for us there. I mean, we're not playing badly in the attack. Defensively, we're still quite poor. I mean, we, it has to be said that that is partly down to the fact that on FIFA 22, I've, I'm just not very good at defending. Danilo, Mitchell-Gama, Gortler. I can't believe what I'm seeing right now with this shooting. How does he put that wide from that angle? We've had two strikes already now in this game. It looks like we may concede another one here. I mean, we definitely we don't deserve to concede a second, to be honest. We've been better than them completely. But that's how the AI is in FIFA 22. They will just score any opportunity that they're given, basically. I can't believe we've missed the two opportunities that we've had, to be honest. No way is he going to hold on to that. Oh, my God. If we concede from this, this is one of the most unjustified attacks I think I've ever conceded from. Oh, they're going to they're gonna score again. Do you want to be honest, lads? I'm not going to lie to you. We're just going to jump to a result in this one because I don't want to play that game with how it feels. So we do end up walking away with a 3-1 loss. Um, I'd rather just get out, get that done, to be honest, because that's just gonna that's just gonna make me not want to record anymore, and I'd rather record and just sim the rest of the game. So I'll probably end up just showing you the result on the sim instead of showing you me playing it. But yeah, next up we have Valencia after a disappointing loss in our first game. Let's get this training done and get into that game. Annoying now. As you can see, we are only outside of the relegation zone currently on goal difference, I think it is. Yeah, we've got four on Valladolid, which is quite helpful for us, to be fair. Because it will that will be big for us come the end of the season, I'm pretty sure. Another disappointing loss last time out means that we are struggling even more going into this game. Uh, Fernandez is tired, which is less than ideal. Can Francis play this role yet? You know what? He can play it well enough, so we'll put him in. And I'm going to give Ribeiro a start here because Aspilicueta is also quite tired. Um, up top, I'm going to swap Fernandez back in for this game and let him play. Besides from that, I think we're going to keep everything else the same. Obviously, Ribeiro only playing at 70 because of his lack of sharpness. That's just one of those things. As Peter Quetta won't be able to play out the full game, so there's not really any point in playing him. But yeah, involved. Yeah, I'm not surprised by the slump we're having. I, I can say that 100% certain. I knew we were going to have a big slump at some point. Okay, we're going to concede here. 
Our defensive positioning is so, so poor, man. Like, honestly, it's beyond shocking. The position of the defenders there is absolutely awful. I mean, look at it. Oh, God, it's so bad. That's just a free goal for someone like Gomez. We still seem to defend at the level of a team who are playing in the Segunda Division. Romero, though, last season wasn't bad, don't they? But I guess he had to do less defensively last season, maybe. So maybe that's the difference. See if we can find Fernandez with this ball. He's up against very tall, tall centre backs. But he does so, so well there, Fernandez. Wow. I have to say, I am shocked that he managed to keep that one going. I'm shocked that he managed to do anything with that. Because uh, that definitely looked like... I thought Yerry Mina was easily going to head that away from him or get the tackle in there. But he takes it away with him using that pace advantage that he has over him. Fernandez gets us back on level terms in the 17th minute. That's what I mean. I feel like we don't have those as many problems going forward as we do defensively. Defensively is definitely where we've got a lot that we need to change. That could be a great ball there from Casas. Oh, Danilo. No way is that still in? Oh, come off of it, man. My players wouldn't go towards it because I'm pretty sure they thought it was out. Being a very deep line playmaker right now, Canales. We do manage to go in at 1-1. Maybe a little bit fortunate on our part to be going in at 1-1. However, we will take those all day. Oh, you, got to, you can't be getting beaten that easily. Casas will head it away. Carlos Fernandez. This is my only problem with Fernandez, is he just doesn't have that pace in there. Does he have this pass in his locker, though? He does. Mitchell Garma. David Miranda's going to step inside and strike one. He's going to drop to Lucas Gortla. Oh, I tried to pull it back to Danilo, but didn't come off. Gortla to find Danilo. Inside the final 15 minutes. Fernandez. Still pushing for that goal that would see them forge ahead. Casas. Francis. Muchangama to roll one to Gortla. Lucas Gortla. Finally, he's had a lot of opportunities to get strikes away and not really done anything with them. But that is exactly the one that we needed from Lucas Gortla. Gives us a slim lead. We are going to bring Escudero on. Lucas Gortler with his sixth goal of the season. We've had some control in this game. However, I do not feel confident. <laughs> oh, fuck, man. How does he play that ball across there? How does he get that ball across there? Escudero, man, you've got to do better. Then Ribeiro's got to do so much better. That is such poor defending. After Danilo loses the ball on the halfway line, there's no way we should be conceding there. See if we can cross this. We can. Oh, Fernandez, you've got to read that better, my man. Good challenge from Escudero. 2-2 two, two in the end. Oh, that's such a bad bit of defending, to be honest, man. For that second goal, Escudero and Ribeiro have to do so much better there. Look, Escudero here, he's got to do better with that challenge. And Ribeiro, that's so lazy. That's such a lazy foot from Ribeiro. So we do, with 11 games gone, we do still manage to stay based on goal difference just outside. That's really disappointing, to be honest, that we didn't walk away with all three there, especially since Valencia are sat in seventh. I really felt like we played well enough that we should hit Chambosufian coming back, which is pretty massive for us, actually. 
Uh, I don't think he'll be available for this game though. No, he's not. Yeah, it's really disappointing that we gave it away like that. Because to be honest, we played well enough in there that I think we probably should have been able to walk away with three points from that game. We do have Athletic Bilbao now. And uh, I'm not looking forward to Inyaki Williams playing up against how our backline are playing currently. They're just trying to mug me off. Back at home, Bilbao. Got to be honest, I'm terrified of the prospect of playing against Inyaki Williams right now. Well, showing good vision. Good tackle from Casas, Miranda, Monzon. I have to take this very far back. On Gwene now. And find Romero. Mujangama's made a run on the inside. Can he chip that through to Danilo? Danilo does bring it down. Oh, that is a bang of a finish. The defence stand off of him. Danilo puts it right in the top bins. What a great finish. I don't know why the defence stood so far off of him. It's almost like they didn't believe he was going to be able to get it through. But look at this finish from Danilo. Chest it down wonderfully. Right in between both players. Gives Simon no chance. His sixth goal in, six, in 12 games. That's a great start for us in the fourth minute. I really just don't know what to do when the AI get the ball in the box. Like, I just don't know how to stop them. They just they have such good close control that it just... I try and hold the space to block the passes. I try and close them down with two-man press. And just none of it works. I need, I need some help. <laughs> help me, please. I don't know how to defend. We do use the two-man press to good effect for once. Oh, I hate it. I hate it when they do that. It's like a, it's like a horror game. Because you just know eventually the jump scare of the ball ending up in the back of your net is coming. That's a foul. I cannot believe the referee's not given that. We've been absolutely robbed. Are you kidding me? How is that not a foul? Look at this. He doesn't touch any of the ball. He just completely takes out on Gwene's legs so he can't run. And the referee's just like, no, that's fine. Wow. Is this that referee from the Africa Cup of Nations who tried to end the game early three times? Because we've just been absolutely robbed. Oh, man. It's going to be half time, I think, going down 2-1. We, we so do not deserve that. That goal... I can, I literally cannot believe, like genuinely cannot believe, that's not been given as a foul on Ongwene. If that was at the other end, I swear to God, they're given a foul every single day. He's literally completely stopped Ongwene from running forward to get the clear the ball, taken out his legs, but they've said that he's taken the ball. I can't actually believe that. Fernandez, how are you getting tackled by Voland? Okay, now Nyaki Williams is all the way through on goal. Oh god, it's gonna be a long, long season. Romero! I I don't know what's going on with <laughs> I don't know what is going on. I, I don't know what is going on. This is a really bad episode. I apologise because the whole thing is just going to be me being mad, basically, and just laughing at the game. I mean, how can we not connect on these pass? There's got to be a formation change. That's all, that's all I can say about it. There's got to be a formation and a tactical change. That is literally exactly what Voland did to um, Ongwene, and they've gotten the free kick for it. I can't believe this game, man. Holy shit, we've been robbed by this referee so far. I can't, I literally can't believe that. That's exactly the same challenge that Voland put in on Ongwene and they've gotten, all, they've gotten the free kick for it. not the pass I wanted, I wanted that to go to Modric. 
Good strike from Modric. I think that probably actually deserves a goal, but you know how it is with AI goalkeepers. They will always make the saves. I'm, I'm, I apologise that I'm just like dejected right now, but it's just like this game. I just don't feel like it. Definitely doesn't deserve to be a three-one. It should probably be about a three-two. Maybe even a three-three. Like, like that's our best, one of our best passes right there, and he can't make a two-yard pass. Fernandez there, winning the ball, immediately gives it back to Anyaki. Romero can't read where the ball's going, but Anyaki Williams is. Like it's just things like that. Again, Gortler can't control the ball. We've just got things going on right now, and they just frustrate the living hell out of me because. There's just no reason and no way that I can change them unless I just completely go to sitting in a five back, which I don't want to do because it's boring. I don't like playing the five back. I enjoyed it in the Barrow save because it was something I haven't done before. It's not something I want to keep doing. Oh man, I'm so. I mean, I'm again. All I can do is apologise for the tone of the episode obviously when you have bad episodes everybody knows i'm not going to be sat here laughing and having a great joke about how badly things are going am i but like the way we're losing games right now is just so disappointing i think what i'm going to do is before i start the next episode i'm going to look at changing the tactics up because these tactics just aren't working for us right now. Let's be honest. One win out of 12 possible. And well, I, can't, I don't even know what the rest is. Probably must have more losses than draws. Five draws, six losses. Like that's just, we can't, we can't continue. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a look at a couple different possibilities of things to play. And then we will look at it next episode and hopefully start to find some better form. But thank you very much for watching. Please like, subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get notified when the next episode is up. And I hope to see you in that episode. Peace.